Water distribution operator Dennis Usry is following a well-developed maintenance routine, opening up this hydrant to ensure that strict water quality standards are met. It's a safeguard for the residential and business customers in this service area. In a lot of the flushing areas, or the areas that we flush annually, the water tends to be in, in a dead-end portion of our system where uh, water can become stagnant. Flushing the system ensures that the water remains fresh and also clear of discoloration or sediment. When older cast iron or steel pipes, um, it's pretty common to get a buildup or accumulation of sediments, mostly due to minerals or corrosion byproducts. It's important that we have a, a good flushing program so that we can uh, clean those out of the pipes so they don't end up in our customers' home plumbing systems. Localized flushing targets specific pipes and is short-term in length. But Golden State also employs a more complex process called unidirectional flushing to clean the system at large. The flushing is done in a carefully planned sequence, street by street, over several weeks. It's referred to as unidirectional because the pipes are valved so that water is flowing, you know, from in one direction. It also allows us to achieve very high velocities, and those velocities will scour or, or really scrub the pipes clean. We actually plan that process out uh, using a hydraulic model. The flushing is done periodically to comply with quality standards set by the State Division of Drinking Water, which also monitors water quality through sampling and inspections. Technicians take environmental precautions, such as removing chlorine before the water enters the storm drain. Golden State says there is typically little impact on customers. While the flushing is occurring, the impact is very minimal. Uh, we operate 8 to 5, and most of the areas that we're flushing are residential areas where a lot of our customers are away for that time. It's also common for flushing to be performed at night, especially on busy streets, to avoid impacting traffic. But there can be some temporary effects. They include fluctuations in water pressure and temporary presence of sediment in the water. Customers are advised not to do laundry to avoid clothing stains from sediment when they see flushing activity in their neighborhood. These are temporary conditions and pose no health risk. Given California's serious drought, Golden State's flushing procedures have been modified to conserve or reuse as much water as possible. We've put a lot of effort into planning our flushing to um, use as little water as we absolutely need to, but still maintain good water quality. The company says water used for flushing amounts to less than 1% of total water used in each of its systems, a necessary system of maintenance to ensure Golden State's priorities are crystal clear.